I've got me tea. Tea. Not my tea, my coffee. And I'm off. Just gonna pop it. Oh, crap big ear in the middle of it. So give it just pop a little bit of water in there. And then I'm gonna come in. This is quite plenty of water on my brush as well. Yeah, that's nice, hopefully. It's such a sort of a misty soppy sky, so plenty of water in. It's virtually a pale sky. There's not much going on in this sky. Dee, dee, dee. It's got a tiny bit of colour on the brush and then I'm just adding water into it as I go. Dee, 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 dee. I suppose I'll probably come around the top of there and I ain't got to be careful because that's going to be darker so it don't matter. Into there, like that. Into here. Uh, same with that. I haven't really got to be careful on this one. Doesn't matter at all. Into there, like that. And then, oh, this water. About the same colour, so I can go straight into the lower. Mm, right the top of there. I don't think I've got to be too careful. Them rocks. Don't have to worry too much. So. Sort of about it, I'd say. Probably dab some clouds out. Just random clouds just to dab out. That'll give me that nice misty effect. Probably more down here. Oh, that seems to be dabbing colour in rather than dabbing it out. I think me off's that filthy. I don't know why it seems to have gone darker at the bottom, but whatever. Let it do whatever it wants to do. That looks alright. That will do. In fact, if I miss this bottom bit to the point where it dries it, I can get this distant hill straight in. So I'll do that. And that's just a misty grey sky and a grey lake. I might put another layer on that lake because it looks like the lake's slightly darker. Right, when we're slightly thicker grey paint now. Plus I'm putting an extra layer on so it's going to look thicker anyway. And just pop in this little ickle leg. There we are. And that's looking at that on my photo. That is dark against light on my leg. So that has to stay darker than that. So I might make the... This lake's darker than my sky, so I might make that lake darker, but I don't want it as dark as that, because that's all the time. You've got to be observing these things. Right, um, I suppose now I can go into some greens and stuff and start to uh, start some coffee. Start building this hill up. See how simple a sky it is, it's just a misty grey mass right just gonna dip that gray blue into a bit of yellow I should get like a milky green color I've had to dip into a tiny bit more blue it's a blue it's like a cerulean and ultramarine mix actually that blue is I had a lot of water on the brush so I don't know if it's too much but Dee, dee, dee. I'll pop that in anyway. There's a lot of oh, there's some yellowy stuff in there. There's some bits where it goes a lot yellowy, yellowier. Bits like that. In there. Then there's some more bluey, greeny stuff over here. So it's a bit more blue back in and on this edge here. It's a lot more bluey, greeny. See that tiny white bit there? Might leave that. Oh, have I covered it anyway? I'm thinking leave that and it'll look like and these lem little dots there look like there's a bit of sunlight hitting it perhaps. Dee 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 up into there. Take this down. In fact it looks like a lot of this green comes all the way down it looks on it, so I'll do that. Just pull that all the way down to there and then there's a bit it's pretty a bit of um 
bottom rope bottom there. I need a bit of bottom on your bottom. Here we are. Bit of bottom on its bottom. There. Like that. Now. Some bottom up here. Wherever these them little white bits, I like to try and leave a bit glowing through. I always think it looks nice. So. There, a bit of bottom down there, yeah, probably down there. That's it. And some in there. I'll get a bit more on the brush. <laughs> so that's gone into a dark green rather than a bon tumba. But yeah, that will look nice. All blending in. It's quite far away. This is so. I'm just going to bring some bits in and make it look interesting. To me, that's got it looks like some little rocks in the bottom there. To me, that looks quite interesting. That's not exactly like on my photo. I'm not bothered now. If that dries too pale, I might pop the extra in more. It's probably going to be all right. Right now, what we got? Some more coffee. That's what we need now. Oh. I know what I need to do really. Let's squeeze this brush out. Forgot something. Uh, forgot something. Totally forgot. Let's wash this brush. I should have put this in before. Not to worry. This path here, it's a pud it's like a puddle. So I need that sky colour in that path. So plenty of water on my brush. And just Oh, that looks perfect to me. Just splash that in there. Last sign. Right, now then. Um, right. Grey. This is really greyish colour in here. I'm to try and mix that. Watch my brush. Try and mix a greyish colour. So I've got some... It's really, really pale, so I've got some Chinese white that I'm mixing in. And I think I'm just going to mix in that. Some yellow. Really pale. Chinese white and yellow. And then a bit of light red. Just to take it that grey. Oh, look, that's perfect. That's just to take it that greyish colour. And that seems to be in here. About there, in there. Like that. Some in there like that, coming down. Like that, and then it's somewhere on these edges here and all. Yeah, that sort of blends up into there. There's quite a lot of this colour in it actually. To say that goes a bit more green on that end there. In fact, let's put some on anyway, though. Um, what else have we got? There's some blended in here. There's some in there, like that. And then if some comes across in there, like that. Some bits blending into there. And it sort of goes a bit more greener as it comes over here. Right, so let's say that's it for that. And then go into that same colour and get a pale green if I can. Tiny tad of green into that. That's it, that's like a pale green there. And I'll blend that into there. That's perfect. In here, yeah, it's a really pale green colour. Mix that in. I'm going to leave quite a few little white highlights as well, I think, and that'll help with that. Add that white colour to that. Take more of that green into this. I'm going green and Chinese white, and it's just giving me this really pale green colour. A lot of artists don't use Chinese white, and I don't know why I love it. If I tried to do this with thin paint, 
it'll just run everywhere. Yeah, I need so using the white in my paper <coughs> won't really work because it'll run everywhere. So adding a bit of Chinese white to pale this green down, and it's giving me like a, a realistic looking green. Like I say, you need to struggle to get this sort of effect. There's a lot of brown in there actually. But yeah, you'd struggle to get this sort of effect with darker green. I mean look this that's darker and there's loads of water in that. Yeah. But it's still too dark for it's not dark as these light bits. I mean it's not too dark for what I'm doing. It's too dark for them light bits. There is slight bits of light of a brighter green on this side, so pop it, tad a yellow into it and brighten it up a bit. That sort of comes there's a bit down here. This is slightly brighter down here. I'll mix a bit of that in. Try and something like that. Um, yeah, I'd say it's seen. Oh, I've gone a bit too bright now. I've done that a bit. Put this dullier green in. Oh, that's perfect. It's all the same sort of thing going on here. That's it. And down in this bottom bit, it does go duller. It's down about there. There's a bit of a ditch there, a bit of a light bit there. It's okay. And this blends in a little bit of both there. Little bit of this bright green in just in a few little places on here and then there's a lot of brown going in in a minute so there i've built that green up it's nice <coughs> a few more light greens in here just on top building it up even a little bit more <coughs> <coughs> oh dear put a little bit more I don't think I'm going to put out in this one, but if you want to add a little fisherman in, or a little fishing, you could you could do a few things with this. You could have a little fisherman in there. You could have some fishing boats in the background. Um, you could have a little walking. You could have a walking man walking through them puddles and his reflection in it. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. Now this, there's a lot of this in here. This is the darkest colour, but there's a lot in this bit here that comes across into here. In fact, there's a few bits where it goes all the way across. There's a lot down on this edge of here like this. Look at the effect I'm getting off this hike brush. This, this brush is a fantastic brush. Look at that, just to me that really looks like bits of earth. So I love this brush, I love these Ike brushes. A little bit dark on that edge I think, just to, just to get that edge. Right, what shall I do? Shall I lighten this brown a bit? No, let's get a few more dark bits in first. And then I'll think about lightening it. Right, so there's that there. I think it's lightening it's centre as it's mixing in. There's some up here. So I'll go on there on that top bit there, look. Darken that in so I've got that contrast of dark against light in there. And then there's plenty of these dark bits in there. Blending in. So that's looking nice. There's some in there. It's going a bit green rather than brown. <coughs> so let's take it a bit more brown. Add a bit of red to it, that'll work. Yeah, I'll come back in. That's it, that's lighter, which is what I wanted. Mix that in. There, a bit more red, a bit more brown. There's a couple more dark bits in here. Mm -hmm. Not too much, there's a few bits in there like that. 
gone quite red with that now just to keep the green out on it for in a minute. I might have to come back to green anyway. Uh, there we are. That's a bit of random stuff in there. So there's a few bits coming down here into that there. I ain't got to get this perfect. I ain't got to follow every little bit of what's happening in there. I've just got to sit back and look and think, right, is that working as a picture? If it is, then I'm laughing. So you'll be getting there now at that. A few browns, a few reds and stuff. Right, so that's that. Uh, probably. I want some stronger greens. Just. Oh, I might wonder if I can get. It's not that stronger green. Let's have a, let's have a little play. Try and get a colour. Dee, 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 dee. Trying to get quite a light green, but what's gonna still cover that up? Let's see, just cover that into there, just to give me my light against dark. And then I've gone into some Chinese white, and we'll try and make it look a bit more pale. That's it. And a couple more. Blend a couple of them in and, in and around. Give me a bit of texture. I think we're going there with that land now. Could go a bit darker in places. I probably will in a minute. I think that's looking okay. If I sit back, that's looking okay to me from there. Thing now, probably the best thing to do now. Get these rocks in. Alright, so let's go a nice dark colour for them rocks. So I'm thinking let's just go bomb sumber. Payne's grey. So if I get loads of water on my bomb sumber, loads of water in my paint's grey. I might have to drag some paint out. De -de -de -de, my paint's dry as usual. A bit too dry probably. It's be fast painting at day, so paint's going to dry. Do you need the? That's it, nice. Oh, that's better. Loads of paint on my brush at that. Absolutely lather your brushing paint. Yeah, it's lathered. See what colour we've got. Oh, that's nice. Bit more black in that, I think. And that sort of. Them other colours go into there like that. Oh, into there. Like that. Because that's quite wet. I get to rush today. I can let that dry a bit. That's not even ready for painting yet. Let's squeeze this brush out while that's drying a bit. And just dab the end. And just this, this, these bits in here, they're a bit darker. So I'll just come in some of them. Make that a bit darker and a bit more interesting. Dee, 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 dee. That brown, oh, because oh. it's building it up. It's sometimes it can get a bit more realism. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come in a bit of solid black into that. Just jet black. And that's me. Oh, in fact, just looking at that. There's a bit of green, let me get a bit of green mixed. There's a bit of green, goes will have a top area where this could, follows that path around there, like that, oh, and goes into there, and there's a bit of green in there. That's it, some of these darker greens are building it up a bit better, that's better. Some of them in. I think we're getting some at now, getting somewhere now where we're looking. I need the real darks to um, make that path stand out as, a, as water. Whereas if I just keep everything pale, I'm going to be struggling a bit. 
Right, oh, this is getting ready now. Start. Lost my concentration a bit, especially up here. So, these are big rocks. These are big. These are big rocks, and all sort of. There are all sorts of weird angles. Let's change to that one, just so we get some different shapes in there. And that. I think that registers as a pile of rocks. Right, um, yeah, some more jet black. I'll just come in and just a few little touches with this jet black. I'll say I'm just using the corner of that brush. Look how good that brush works. So these now are just low lights, and I mean really low lights. Jet black, so really low, really strong. There'd be a lot near this water because it was dark where the water hits the dirt. It's quite, it's quite dark in there. We're nearly done. I'm just all I'm doing is just gradually building up and building up a few layers until it looks right. And then when I sit back and think, yeah, that looks all right. That's when I'm sort of done. See here, this here look. Build some layers up into this. This looks a bit unnatural where this suddenly it's into this. So if I do that look, build some of them in. I think that'll help. Yeah. Just a couple of there, blend it in. That's better, isn't it? I think we really are getting there now. I think what I'm going to do is get some jet black again. Right up the corner of that brush. And just come in and do some bits in here. A lot of paint on my brush now. And just filling in some of these bits here and trying to make it look like really effective realistic looks at oh, what don't look that much like a rock I can reshape it a little bit do what I want that one there looks a bit weird perhaps put a little crack in it there a little bit of a yeah, look, that one's looking a bit strange make that one there look that one there if you yeah, be, 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 be. there we are that's just bit that looks alright to me there is actually, if I can get them in small enough, there's a few little grasses cutting into some on them. Just tiny little bits right on that edge there. If I can pull some of that dark down so it looks like grasses as well, as well as... Hey, there we are. So that's that. I think we go in there. Just looking at these bits here, I could do with these bits a bit stronger, I think. Just on these edges. Um, so let's see if I can mix some sort of strong. Oh, I don't want to rinse this brush out. Let's see if I can mix some sort of stronger, darker colour, but still quite a bright colour. So look. So look where I can go. So it's, that's like a greenish yellowish colour so let's see if I can mix that that's quite bright it's going on top of that as well so there we are and that same colour definitely going there so I'm just strengthening it up a bit and now I'm tempted to whack in Bit of cream right on that edge. Same on this one, a bit of cream. Right on that edge there. And then just put some real white colour into it. To blend it back to a paler colour. everywhere that's better now what I need to do now 
that water is slightly darker than that sky. So if I squeeze that out, into uh, where shall I go into? into there. Squeeze that out. <coughs> start with some. Get some. Uh, well, I've got some here. I don't need to mix it. I've still got some left from earlier. Some grey blue. <coughs> get this water sorted. Now, <coughs> right, let's have a look. Nearly done. It's a nice water it mix. There we are. Blue. Leave a tiny bit of water line, I think. Just against there. Gotta be careful not to touch into any of them colours I've just done. If I touch that in into there, that's gonna run. So I think that's enough. Now if I just dry that brush and soften them edges in so you can't see it. I don't want to touch into there, that's it's going to run. So if I just soften that in, close as I can get, I think that's enough. Is that dark enough? That's registering slightly darker than the other one, isn't it? I tell you what, I'm going to put a tiny bit more just across this middle bit here, like that. So it just registers a little bit darker. Is that enough? I'm going to do one more thing, just from this side here, a tiny bit darker on that side there. What's happening now is I'm just going over and over and not actually adding any more paint. I think that's enough to take it that bit darker. Now is that puddle darker? I'm going to stand back and have a look. It sort of looks like it might need a bit of something. There's a big tree side so I might pop that in that might help a bit let's get a decent sized brush for this tree I'll start with that one then that one and then the interview bigger and that'll do it right so it's let's go into this brown colour there's a big tree in here well, it's actually got a bit of green in it and all just coming in there like that and there let's see in some green there like that. Right, and swap brushes now. To this ickle brush. This one's a little bit smaller. Just easier to get me branches and stuff. Some more sort of coming outside here. Yeah, so there's some more coming out here look. This is where your alcoholic hands comes in handy. If you're an alcoholic and your hands are all wobbly, this helps. This might do it. It just looked like it needed a bit more. And then I thought, well, we're going to leave this out. And I thought, no, this will work. You could, uh, you could put a little fisherman in or something though. Might end up doing that or a little bloke walking down there. I wonder if fish when they get caught, if they sort of go back to their mates and say, I've just been abducted by aliens. And they're like, you know, no, seriously, I got took, I got caught, and I got took out of the galaxy, into this other galaxy, and then I got photographed and prodded about and that, and then they put me back, and all their mates are going, <laughs> <laughs> right, oh pal. Well, no, no, honestly, honestly, I've been abducted by aliens. Because to a fish, that's probably what it feels like. It's ways me like coming in. I don't know. There's no, there's not going to be no shadows in out anyway, because um, 
think I'm gonna put my dark side of my tree this side. But there's not gonna be no shadows, I know it's too dull a day anyway. So just darken my tree down this side, get a bit more shape to it. And make it look these branches, this will just make them branches look a bit more round. One day me and Doofus went out uh, on a mission and then um, disappeared for three days. I says to Doofus, what am I going to say to Esmeralda? He'd come up with his plan. Let's pretend I'd been abducted by aliens. So that's what, she, that's what we did. I thought, well, that's a brilliant idea. Because Doofus is normally daft. We'd come up with this brilliant idea. We'll pretend we've been abducted by aliens. Because this would be before... Doofus were already, he didn't have a girlfriend back then. This would be before he met Donna. He's with a girl now called Donna, Donna Kebab. But this was before Donna Kebab. And there. Uh, so he come up with this plan. So I says to Esmeralda that I looked up at Sky, seeing this bright light. And then next thing you know, I looked down and I'd got a beard. And Doofus were going, no, no. That's because it, it sucked him up into the light. And it didn't pop him back down for three days. But... If you're thinking of making excuses for why you've gone on a three day mission, I won't bother with that one because she didn't believe us. So, but I just thought, good thinking, doofus, you're normally daft, yet it's come out with something like that. What's, let's face it, borderline genius, isn't it? Can't believe she didn't believe us. Got this bluish colour on here, will this pass for twigs? Maybe it's. I blend it in with a bit of brown and all, a bit of both. Little twigs they are. Now whether they look like little twigs or not, I don't know, but all they've got to do is pass for little twigs. And you can soften them in and out. So like say if I get this, you've got to be careful softening in on this paper by the way. If I get this brush with just water in. Could probably soften some of this in. Let's get a bit of that brown on there. Just you can do it with like that lot. You just get your edges like that. That's another way of doing it. Soften, soften some brown in like that. And that that's going to pass for little twigs. Soften some of them branches in and it'll look like the twigs is coming over the top of them branches look well, okay that's a nice bit of twiggy stuff well can even get this, put a few extra ones in like that look. They always look good. Just a few going across. There we are, so that's I think that's probably enough. Do I need a little bloke in there walking, a little reflection? Yeah, I tell you what, if you want to put one in, you put one in. Ah, I can't be bothered. I just think, I can't be bothered, it's just I've took up a lot of your time. I love painting, so I can sit here forever. But I've took up a lot of your time, so I think what I'll do with it, I don't think it needs it. I think there's enough now with that tree. I think there's enough going on. So if I put Peter and Paul in here, oh, that's a big one. That looks nice. That's Peter, put Paul just behind him, following on. Put a little bit of a thing on his That looks good. Peter and Paul there. Yeah, looking for a few worms and that. Let's put a BD there. B stands for Bertie. D stands for D. Bertie D. There we are. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. I forgot it. I forgot it. What I do need. Try and do it with this little brush. 
That's yeah, not in me. Original paintings. I could just leave it. Pop a bit. Just a tiny bit. Of a water line just across that bit there, I think. A little bit across there. Mm, blend some of these ones in here. A bitter one. That's a nice soft one. Right, let's get some more gouch. A bit more gouch on the brush. Try to that one up a bit. Through there. So that's tidying that bottom up a bit as well. That bottom's a bit jaggedy, so this is a good little way to tidy up a bit. A bit there, and let's have let's have one there, like that. just a broken one. Maybe it's one there. Strengthen that middle one up a bit. Not the middle one, the bottom one. Just a that's it, that just makes that register that little bit more as water. There we are. I think, you know what, one more little thing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be here all day. One more little thing. I'm just looking and I'm thinking to myself, right, this here, it's not registering as a puddle to me. It's all about what's registering as what. So I'm going to come in, a tiny bit of blue into this colour. That's it, and I'm just gonna take this. That's it, a bit more of that blue colour. Because I've used watery paint, if I'm going to take a bit of that back out. Because I've used quite a watery paint, that looks quite watery, doesn't it? There we are. Signed it, Peter and Pauline. Jobs are good. Enough. That's done. At some point, you've got to say, you're right, I'm done now. But, ah, really like that. Really happy with that. That looks lovely. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't think it needs a person there. The world's your lobster if you want to put one in. Or if you want to put a couple of fishing boats that look nice in there. Or for a nice focal point or something. To me, sort of this area, maybe. If, I don't know, that leads your eye in and then you go out through it. So, I, I don't want to put my eye going to there and then it goes there a fisherman but the world's your lobster you do whatever you feel on your own um, right i'm gonna go off to 37 minutes of your time so i'll see the on beach oh, wah, wah.